you know, a lot of people ask me, why do I like Doctor Who so much? Why am I a Doctor Who fan? What, 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 why could I like, well, an episode that begins with Rory punching Hitler and ends with moments as good as that, that is definitely the show that I, <sighs> oh, that was one of the best episodes of Doctor Who I have seen in such a long time. That was wonderful. That is everything that Doctor Who is. Dramatic, funny, shocking, intriguing, silly, slightly naff, and mysterious and fantastical. A lot of people think Doctor Who is is it's hard sci-fi that it, that it's that it's that it's meant to be this it's meant to be a, a serious drama that, that that's this that's a you know it's this mysterious man traveling through traveling in time and having these serious stories it it, it it's not it's it, it, it it's it's a fantasy it, it's a story it's an adventure Moffat, Steve Moffat, the man who writes the whole thing, as many of you all know, himself says that it's it's an adventure show, a family adventure show. Just <sighs> the episode was "Let's Kill Hitler," the first of the second part of this series of Doctor Who. Um, now, in a wee moment, I'm going to dispense with being so vague. I'm going to have to talk about spoilers, so probably turn it off now if you haven't watched the episode. <laughs> that was five out of five for me. That's what I look for in an episode. It had it showed you some cool travelling in time. They went to the thirties and they saw Hitler and Rory punched him because Rory is awesome. And and then we have River Song turning up like that. And just just the brilliance of the idea that Melody. River Song is Melody Pond, and Melody Pond is the daughter of Rory and Amy. That's what we know now. Now, th the idea that the little girl that regenerated at the end of episode 2 of the Day of Moon in, in, in this series, who was River Song as a child, regenerated into uh, a, a girl who went ended up going to school with, with Rory and Amy, it's just... It's wonderful, and then seeing that wonderful moment where she falls over dead, having been shot by Hitler, and you know that, that's why she regenerated because she got shot by Hitler. That's fantastic, um, you know. And Rory punches Hitler, and then she's lying there, and they're all like, "What the hell's happening?" And then suddenly it clicks, and bang! I didn't realize what was going on. I realized who this person was, and the genius of it. Amy's best friend, her best childhood friend, the person she got to know, and the person that got Rory and Amy together in the first place, was in fact River Song, who was in fact Melody Pond, who was their daughter the whole time. And that's brilliant. And you really begin, and I began to realize this, as of course she glowed with regeneration energy and turned into the incarnation that we're most familiar with, the Alex Kingston uh, River Song, which is amazing, and that was brilliant. The whole episode just kept tumbling along in this wonderful thing, especially because it's been a while now, you know, two years since we saw, you know, a Time Lord just at the beginning of their incarnation, you know, like with um, Matt Smith, uh, about a year and a half ago, you know, trying all the different foods and stuff like that. So it was quite good to see, you know, um, Melody Pond River Song at the beginning of a uh, after a regeneration, kind of Whoa! And being quite manic and running about, and especially when she managed to empty a hall full of Nazis by forcing them to take off all their clothes by pointing two massive machine guns at them and have them running out the door as she tried on all their different clothes to find out which one she think looked best. Well, that was fantastic. The whole thing is brilliant, and the whole brilliant the way that it built up. You know, the Doctor, how he was gonna get, you know, how she killed him, and that's why she's in prison, and and the way that the robot was used, and and. Um, I need to round this up or I will just start screaming at the camera Um, it was just the final scenes were beautifully dramatic the, 
it really the room downstairs, my family, silence. Everyone was totally in with it. It was oh what how the doctor's almost near death experience there works out and how Rivers involved with that and also the hints about the series and also hearing about the silence. The silence who apparently Apparently, it's a religious order, not just that species that we saw in episodes one and two. Apparently, a religious order that say the silence will fall when the question is answered. And, of course, the question is not yet known. And I'm sure we'll soon find that out. Anyway, Let's Kill Hitler was uh, my favourite episode of Doctor Who for a long time. The Doctor's Wife was amazing, but I'm going to say that I enjoyed that even more. That was amazing. Everyone in the cast performed amazingly. The idea of it, they went back in time, 1930s Nazi Germany, Hitler, um, Nazi uniforms, TARDIS, the Doctor changing, being flamboyant, um, really good character development of Rory and Amy. The whole thing just worked so well. It was a fantastic episode. I love this episode, 5 out of 5. And I'm just going to keep screaming. So I'm just going to turn this off now, okay? But God, watch this show. Yeah, it could be so bad, but it could also be just so goddamn good. Brilliant. It's all from the cherry blog for now. I'll be back next week. Ah! Torchwood and Doctor Who have been broadcast at the same time. I'm so tired. Go to heaven. <laughs>